Good morning and happy Monday. Oh, I'm itchy. It's five in the morning, about to go down to the gym. Nothing new here. Actually, I have this whole week off from work. Completely off, but I'm still waking up early to gym just because I know it's, I, I just like this routine, you know, and it sucks to wake up right now, to be honest, when I just want to sleep. But I know that there's like a trainer here and he has a lot of clients come all throughout the day and I just, it's annoying. So, um, I like to go now when there's less people. All right, I'm back up for my workout. It's only 5.47 because I've been incorporating circuit training. So I should have just filmed today because there was like nobody down there for the most part. I just was sleepy. All right, so I just got ready. I have to go, I have to do a work thing even though I'm off. I just have to pick up my laptop. Uh, a few vlogs ago, I, I was talking about how horrible my laptop is and I find I kept asking for a new one and it got approved. So I'm gonna go pick that up. It's at a different campus than the one that I typically work at. Not that I've been going there because of COVID, but it's a little bit further. Um, um, that's around 11, so it's literally only 6.20. I have some laundry running. I need to go grocery shopping. I literally don't have any solid foods to eat. So this is my breakfast right now. The best protein ever. Focus. It's Owen, only what you need. 20 grams of protein. My favorite is the cookies and creamless. It was the cold brew before because that's the only one I ever had, I think. But now the cookies and cream one. This is like chocolate milk, really decadent, rich chocolate milk. It's amazing. I'm gonna just sit here and watch the sun come up. The moon is still out. You probably, you won't be able to see that. It's a, it's a very thin crescent moon, but I'm gonna watch the sun come up and plan my meals and just chill for a second. And then I'll go grocery shopping once it's open. I just got back from grocery shopping. I meant to film in there, completely forgot. Actually what happened is I, not at the grocery store, but before I was planning my meals or whatever, watching the sunrise and then I fell asleep. So there's that. These, we watched the UFC fights on Saturday night. We went to a friend's house and they had paid for it. So we just went and somebody had brought this they were so good, and I had to get them. Um, this week, me and my sister are gonna be going hiking tomorrow, I believe. So we're gonna be making sandwiches. I got some French bread, a French baguette, and just gonna be putting veggies and vegan cheese and vegan meat on it. Got some smart sweets, got some dried apricot, apricots. These are so good. Um, I think we're good on that. I'm not gonna show you all my groceries because I think it's really boring. Uh, I don't know, you can tell me otherwise, but whenever somebody puts a grocery haul in their video, I skip over it, so. Yes. So I've just parked where I need to be apparently. I don't know, we have to wait in our car because we can't, you know, social social distancing and then I have to wait for my computer. Apparently there's a table out here where I'll be able to check if it works. We'll see. All right, got my new laptop. It's very nice. That was quick, headed home. So I'm just cooking some lunch. It's already 12:11. Just filled up my vitamins for the week. Wanted to show you that I don't think I've shown this yet on my channel. My boyfriend's parents 
got me an air fryer for my birthday. This is actually the exact one that I gave to Sebastian for Christmas. Um, and it's unbelievable. Phenomenal. These are vegan meatballs. Typically this takes quite some time to cook like in sauce or whatever. But you just pop them in here, put it at whatever temperature, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, not even, it's done. And it smells so good. It smells like pizza in here. So we have vegan meatballs, got some broccoli and peas cooking. That's gonna be my lunch. I'm the worst at vlogging today. I already started eating. Here's my meal. There was a lot more broccoli, quite a bit more peas. So very simple meal. I'm just sitting here relaxing. It's honestly so nice to have the day off. It's starting to rain. Love it. I was just working on this little bucket list of mine. I wrote a blog post that I put up last uh, Sunday, two days ago, when you're watching this. Uh, it was titled, How to Make the Rest of 2020 Happier and More Productive. And one of, the, one of the things on the list was to create a bucket list. And I wanted to make a nice little photo. I just sent, I've typed up an email to send to my blog subscribers and this, I included a photo of this. But yeah, it's kind of cute. It's not perfect. I really just messed up here in this stupid massage chair. <laughs> It's like a Pac-Man eating a fish tank or something. I don't even know. But, you know, I don't really care. I just wanted to create this so I can hang it up in my living room and have something to look forward to. Because I got really excited. Uh, by the way, does anybody, like, do I have a tick bite, spider bite? Help. It's getting larger. It's warm to the touch. It's a little bit itchy now. It wasn't yesterday. Um, I don't know. I may need to go to the doctor because if it's a tick bite, that's a problem. But yeah, hot cocoa. This is for the rest of 2020. So like obviously 2020 isn't going as planned and there's not that much to look forward to. There's not that much to do, you know, but just doing little things here and there would be nice. So one thing tomorrow is I'm, oh God, one thing is I'll be able to cross off is take a little day trip to go hiking, take a weekend trip. Make hot apple cider, hot cocoa and marshmallows, and like a movie, get a two hour massage. Try doing vlogmas, walk through or drive through holiday lights. Like you know when you go to a neighborhood and drive through it with like really good lights. Business slash blogging day at a cafe. Bake fall treats, bake Christmas cookies, go on a picnic, salted caramel coffee. That's my little list and I can add to it if I want to, you know? So I'll probably hang this up in my living room. But I'm microwaving some food because I'm really hungry. It's only four, but I'm just going to eat now. It's just rice and beans left over that Sebastian had made me. I've gotten through most of my to-do list today. I still, I want to edit this video once it's all done, with once I'm done with the day. Go on a walk. I need to pack. I need to fold my laundry and put it away, whatever. That's it. I am slacking on my water today. It's a bit early, but I'm just about to go for a walk. 4.44. Let me show you a couple of things that I got super random, but there is reason for it. So I walk every single day, especially it's, I've started from quarantine. Typically I would go walking at work on my lunch break, but now it's been obviously a lot more walking and in neighborhoods or at the nearby park, whatever, for an hour to two hours. And I'm typically by myself. Um, obviously anything could happen anywhere. So I think it is important to have some sort of protection for you. And like one of the easiest things to have is pepper spray. So I got a pepper spray. The other thing is, um, there's been the, there was a recent story in the city that my sister lives in. There was a dog attack. Two dogs attacked a 15 year old girl almost killed her. It was awful, like a really horrible situation. And 
the way they tore her up was like, uh, it's crazy. But, and then there's also been deaths by dog attacks last year um, in the city that I used to live in. I personally have never seen a loose dog or stray dog in the city I live in now. For whatever reason, the people here keep their dogs inside as you're supposed to or on a leash. However, you just never know. And obviously I love dogs. I'm vegan for a reason. I, I don't just love dogs, I love everything. But I'm gonna defend myself if a dog attacks me. Same with like a human. So I got pepper spray, first of all. I'll link this down below. 10 bucks, you turn it, you spray it in their eyeballs. I gotta test it though, I haven't tested it yet. I just got this. The next thing I got, let me show you first, cause it's pretty cool. Looks like this, looks like a flashlight, and it is a flashlight. However, if you move it to the next switch, it's so loud. Okay, warning, this is fairly loud, so if you have headphones in or uh, speakers loud, this is really loud. I don't know how it will pick up on the camera, but... <laughs> it's really loud. Uh, it's a stun gun, not a taser. A taser is the one where you shoot and it has to hit somebody to tase them. This one, you make contact and you can hold it on whoever. I will link this down below. It was like 15 bucks and it feels pretty heavy duty. So I like that it looks like a flashlight and it does come with this handle so you can just like, you know, carry it around and not look too suspicious. Granted, I am about to go walking in the daytime, so I don't know, I'm just gonna carry it. But it's funny because it explains what happens. Effects of the stun gun. If you hit them for one second, if you hit them for two seconds, and three to five seconds. So um, it's pretty interesting how the stages work. And obviously, depending on where you put it on somebody's body is gonna be a different effect. So yeah, this one is chargeable. It's pretty cool. I'll link it down below. And I'll link this down below too, because I think you should have, you know, being a single woman, I'm not single, but like walking on my own and just, you never know. You know, you gotta be safe out there and even if it's a if it's a dog or another animal or a human, you know, you just, you gotta protect yourself. All right, should I take this or the pepper spray? I don't know. <laughs> what, the, what do I look like walking around with a flashlight in the middle of the day? I didn't, I didn't think this through, but that's okay. I'd rather, I didn't wanna carry a stun gun. There's some that are like large, rectangles that look like a stun gun. It has like the prongs poking out, but this one you can't tell too much. Like, it's just up there. All right, I'm gonna go walk now. All right, just folding some laundry. I was just watching Kenzie Elizabeth's video. Um, I've talked about her before but she is actually, I don't think I've even talked about what I'm doing this week. I was inspired by her to do a vlog week, which is where you vlog every day and post a video every day for five days, seven days, I'm not sure yet. But I figured since I have some more time this week, I can do that and get the video up in the morning. She does it from time to time. Granted, her videos are probably way more interesting I think this week I'm going to, maybe tomorrow, after tomorrow, I'm going to delete all, she was talking about this too, because I have a problem with comparison, as we all know, I talk about this like all the time, um, comparison and just like not feeling like you're doing enough or like things are good enough or you're like you're good enough. And, um, I don't know, I think, I was thinking of deleting social media for this whole week anyway, because I find that I don't focus as well if I'm, you know, around social media. But then I just, I, I honestly want to quit social media completely, like, forever, because, like, last year I stopped using social media, 
what it was like March through October so for several months over six months I did not use uh, Facebook or Instagram I would get on Facebook occasionally it wasn't on my phone it was just on the computer and that was really just to like see what you know ex some extended family is doing and things like that really wasn't necessary you know to get on even that but I think I'm gonna delete it again I would like to not be on it at all but like having a youtube channel and having a blog it's free promotion you know you can just promote yourself and your stuff and it's kind of stupid not to do it but at the same time it's not it doesn't provide that much traffic to my youtube channel or to my blog it's just a way to connect with people an additional way to connect with people but i don't know some days i really really just want to completely delete it I don't know, life was a lot easier. I know that sounds dramatic, but thinking of a caption and trying to take a photo that people people don't even pay attention. If you think about when you're on Instagram and you're clicking through a story or going through, unless it's somebody you really care about, like you're probably not reading their captions, you're probably not paying attention that much to what they're showing on their story or talking about. Like, you just click through it. It's really just such a weird thing. And we just constantly fill our our brains with all this stimulating stuff. And I've found myself getting to the point where I need to constantly be hearing things. And I hate that. Like, that needs to stop. I've done a pretty good job. Like, in the mornings, I am pretty quiet. Obviously, I meditate. Um... I mean, I now I work out, so I listen to music, but when I'm getting ready and stuff, I don't really listen to anything. And then um, sometimes when I go on my walk, I'll just walk, you know, not listen to anything. But most of the time, I'm consuming some sort of content, and I really, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you think a YouTube, I mean, a Instagram and a Facebook and all that is necessary for having these platforms, you know? Like... Can I just be off of it? I'm looking at my comments right now. I responded to a bunch earlier and there's a lot of questions. This is random, sorry. There's a lot of questions about microbiology and like, it's questions I answer in my videos, like in my microbiology videos. So please, if you have questions about microbiology, watch the, my how to become a microbiologist video. And also people ask me, what they should do. I don't know. I don't know what you should do. I am sorry, but if you live in another country and you're asking about how to get a job in America or how you can find a job in that country, I have no clue, honestly. Um, you have to work with, network with people and that's my answer to everybody who asked that. And making a decision about your career is up to you. You just have to figure out if you wanna do that. I can't answer that question for you. Um, so I get a lot of those questions, and I just, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't answer them. So if you ask that and I don't answer, that's why. I'm going to start edit editing this video. I'm sorry, it probably wasn't very entertaining. I didn't do too much today. Tomorrow it will be a little bit more fun. Hopefully you guys like this vlog week. I figured I would try it out. And also, I want to do Vlogmas this year. If you saw, I, I showed you my little bucket, bucket list that I would like to try it. I've never done vlogmas and I want to do it one year in my life like eventually and this might be the year because I feel like we'll be home again honestly I kind of hope not because it'll give me more content if I actually get to go to work but this is like a little trial run of if I can do it so granted I am on vacation but let me know over the next week if you guys like this thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.